Om Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and with respect to guidance and advice, um, and continuing on our theme, the last few videos of uh, Mechleikas, disputes, arguments, and Korach. We usually focus on Korach. Well, he's, he's, he's ca causing this dispute, this, this, this mechleikis, and, and, and Korach this, and his congregation this, and his gathering this, and, and, and he's misunderstanding this, and he's, he's not doing L'Shem Shemaim that, and, and I'm reminded of verse 4 of chapter 16 we mentioned previously. Moses fell on his face. We sometimes... Less attention is given to the effect that these words can have. Remember the dispute about the techelas, uh, about the thread of blue, and the, the mezuzahs? You're mocked by your, uh, for your observance. You're mocked for your religious beliefs. Whether you're a Noahide, whether you're just starting as a Baltruva, whether you're wanting to become more observant, believe me, there's going to be no, sh no shortage of people who are going to mock you. Um, people don't usually um, say glowing words about religious people. If anything, you're going to be made fun of. So, there are going to be times that there are going to be people, you're among people, they make fun of you because of the positive values you try to live by. And you feel hurt. You feel rejected by their mockery, especially if they're friends. Wow, you, well, you can't eat at my house? My food's not good enough for you? And why are you being so ridiculous? Is it, the meat is kosher, the cheese is kosher. What's wrong with a kosher cheeseburger? Why, you know, why are you being so ridiculous? You're being pig-headed and you know, your niggly details and... It's hurtful. If a person, if it's, if, if it's somebody you don't know, somebody you don't care, you try to brush it off. But sometimes these are friends. Sometimes they're relatives. And words hurt. So... What can you do about this? When people mock you for being religious, or mock you for being observant, mock you for who you are. And this time, we're going to go to the Ramchal, Rabbi um, Moshe Chaim Luzzado from Italy. His first words sound easy. Don't pay attention to their laughter. Easy to say. Don't pay attention to their laughter. Realize that they have distorted values. Thinking, think of following this analogy. If you could learn, if you could earn a large amount of money by doing something, by engaging in a certain activity, you wouldn't stop doing it just because someone you know, snickers at you or laughs at you. If, you're, if, you're, if you do X, Y, Z, and you're going to make a fortune, you're going to do X, Y, Z. Who cares if, if the, the foolish neighbor is, is making fun of you? All the more so. Do not cause your soul a loss. Don't suffer a spiritual loss as the result of some fool's laughter. King David would speak words of Torah in the presence of other kings who would be talking about their power and pleasures and some people might be too shy to do this they're talking about whatever what banquet I did is how many wives I have and you start talking words of God some people might be too shy to do this but says that I'm how we should use though the Melech King David's example as our model do not be deterred from your values because another person lacks the understanding of what is truly important in life. Wise words from the Holy Ramchal, um, Rav Moshe Chaim Lutzado. We're going to be doing uh, more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.